Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Aquarius July 2018 horoscope forecast, and yes, this does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is, well, as far as July goes, the Sun will be in Cancer from the 1st until the 22nd, so the 6th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, uh, focus, and uh, attention on health, uh, work, employment, the daily routine, uh, the aunt and, uh, and aunt and uncle, and service as well. And given that we're talking about Cancerian energy, it could be done with a lot of Cancerian tenacity, sensitivity, emotional energy, even a lot of sympathy, and especially in matters connected, perhaps with service and uh, the aunt and, and aunt and an uncle, since you are talking about family members, very uh, much nurturing energy and also protective energy, safety uh, and security as well. And um, especially perhaps in matters pertaining to uh, health and uh, work, uh, such as getting some kind of insurance, uh, perhaps. So anyway, also, uh, this might shine the light on a Cancerian uh, health related matter, such as something with the, the breast, the chest, or maybe the stomach even. So anyway. Next thing up is, well, um, as far as July goes, the sun will be in Leo from the 22nd until the 31st. So the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. At this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, attention, and focus on others in general, relationships, uh, partnerships, open adversaries, uh, legalities, and even the grandmother. Uh, perhaps and perhaps even negotiations and compromise as well. And given that we're talking about um, Leo energy, this could be done with a lot of Leo pride, dignity, ferocity, near inexorable energy. Uh, done in a very extravagant manner. There might be very extravagant and exorbitant legal uh, expenses, for example. Done with a lot of generosity and magnanimous energy, and also a lot of fortitude and courage, especially matters connected with uh, perhaps open adversaries or even legal opponents. And also done with a lot of Leo-like confidence and self-assuredness. Now, anyway, could also shine the light on a Leo Sun Moon Ascendant open adversary or one that simply embodies Leo like characteristics. Next thing up, there will be a partial solar eclipse in Cancer on July 12th. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, keep in mind when you have a, a solar eclipse, it's really, it's like a, a new moon, but only uh, really enlarged and inflated in terms of its potential impact. And it could have life altering implications and, and, and really uh, as far as the effect could be on it. Sometimes it could even be about very, um, really uh, uh, meetings, it could be about strong meetings that could be life altering as well, faded meetings perhaps. Now, given uh, this is the sixth house and, and being in Cancer, this could be about a new Cancerian job, uh, something um, could be cooking, something with culinary uh, work, laundry, real estate, home renovation repair, maybe even a home uh, business excuse me, that could have very life-altering effects, perhaps. Uh, this could be maybe a, something that you might have procrastinated on for some time, and now you're finally doing it. And it could be a very, you know, just a, a change that you had been planning to make in employment, but you decided to do it. Uh, also, in some cases, this could be a um, perhaps... Uh, a rekindling of a Cancerian connection, like an aunt or an aunt or an uncle, a sun, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascend, or one that simply embodies Cancerian characteristics. It could also be the way this can manifest, perhaps, is perhaps uh, pursuing health matters and maybe even employment related matters with a lot more Cancerian like tenacity at this time as well, in showing more of a nurturing and sympathetic attitude, perhaps, towards servicing others. Uh, at this time, and um, and this could lead to maybe a faded connection or something where somebody takes notice of this and it leads to something life altering for you. And uh, another thing too, sometimes this could um, perhaps be, um, perhaps uh, sadly, it could in some cases be a new Cancerian 
a health related matter that could happen is and it could be something connected with the chest the breast or the stomach uh perhaps so anyway next thing up there will be a full moon lunar eclipse uh in aquarius on july 27th so the first house is what we emphasized and highlighted now uh when you're talking about a lunar eclipse it's like a regular full moon but again like i was talking about the solar eclipse could be uh more life altering it could have a very stronger impact on you in contrast to a regular uh full moon it could have really um it's really more it could be more inflated and enlarged in its impact and it might be more sustained uh and really uh one one way this could manifest for you given we're talking about aquarius energy and the first house uh this could be um where you might simply become tired exasperated full and maybe somebody that you knew from your uh early childhood or know from your early childhood that was exhibiting very unusual bizarre idiosyncratic behavior perhaps and uh in some and in some cases it could even be about yourself and maybe you're tired of yourself maybe acting in that manner and in a lot of it's interesting because when you have a full moon uh lunar when you're talking about uh, any full moon lunar regular full moon lunar eclipse or what have you i mean in the first house it sounds a little paradoxical because you're having um a full moon could represent the culmination or completion of something but the first house uh, can signify new beginnings so i think when, when when the way this can manifest in some in a lot of cases is that it could indicate the end of something could signify a new beginning it could be like in some cases you could be maybe completing something that might be aquarius like it could be the end of something connected say with astronomy astrology aerospace computers electronics innovation and it could be the ending or completion of some some period with one of those with something aquarius like could lead to you doing maybe some an, uh, something uh, a new beginning perhaps that could be aquarius like as well and this could also be about a lot of full uh selfless humanitarian energy that people may see on a first uh impression as well and really uh, in a lot of just that full emotional energy into maybe doing something uh with your uh physical body uh perhaps or it might be like we're doing something where you're making i mean it could be some change connected with compute something using state-of-the-art workout equipment such as something with computerized electronic workout equipment uh perhaps as well and um anyway and it could also be about a time i mean well what i want to actually i'm gonna i'm done with that what i want to talk about next is um mercury will be in leo will be retrograde from the 26th to the 31st so the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time for aquarius this could be about speaking with authority and conviction uh to others in general and also to the significant other as well a grandmother uh perhaps and also thinking with a lot of confidence and self-assuredness uh regarding uh open adversaries and dealing with legal opponents uh, as well given that this is going to be uh, retrograde for the latter part of of the month could also manifest perhaps in reviewing uh, maybe your extroversion and gregariousness to others in general perhaps even with the grandmother the significant other as well and also you might be talking about a lot of your positive attributes with these people and boasting about uh, yourself uh, as well at this time and remember that mercury can also be about uh siblings as well so it could be where maybe you might have some leo uh, siblings leo sun moon ascendant siblings or ones that simply embody leo like characteristics my figure more prominently maybe just in your connections in general in your relationships uh than usual so anyway well venus will be in leo as far as july goes from the first until the ninth so the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted uh at this time well uh this could be a time for aquarius where if you're unattached you might find a leo sun moon ascendant or one that embodies leo like characteristics in some legal profession or it might be some arbitration or negotiation setting or situation it could be in court in some cases 
Uh, this could be also the way this can manifest perhaps is valuing generosity and extroversion and gregariousness uh, at this time with others in general and enter to enjoy entertainment with these people uh, as well. You might be more subjected to extravagant or exorbitant legal fees and it might be also uh, maybe spending a prodigious amount of money on the grandmother, significant other as well, others in general. Um, it could also be even if you're negotiating with somebody you might wind up having to fork over a little more money than you anticipated and also perhaps about valuing uh, fortitude and courage and love uh, relationships as well so anyway well the next thing up is uh, Venus will be in Virgo as far as July goes from the 9th until the 31st so the 8th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time for um, for Aquarius this could be in some cases about spending uh, frugally on a sexual partner uh, or someone that you're in an intimate relationship with and it could also be about spending very carefully and shrewdly perhaps on taxes and insurance matters as well and also too about valuing health and fitness which of course could might be tied into making a major transformation if you are unattached at this time Aquarius you might you might connect with a uh, Virgo Sun Moon or Ascendant or simply one that embodies Virgo like characteristics and might figure prominently in a major change or transformation might help you deal strongly with maybe a crisis situation uh, in your life as well so and, and also too even though it might be somebody that you know, might be very of course if it is a Virgo Sun Moon Ascendant or simply one that embodies Virgo characteristics could be somebody that's very meticulous maybe a little bit persnickety but somebody that you may and really want that deep connection with uh, as well since we are talking about the eighth house uh, so anyway next thing up is Mars will be uh, in Aquarius excuse me as far as uh, this month goes it will be retrograde in the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time for Aquarius this could be a situation where you might be uh, where it might be a little bit more acrimonious and contentious with someone you know uh, knew from your early childhood perhaps you maybe you're getting angry at that person's uh, idiosyncratic bizarre or unusual uh, behavior you might be putting maybe some maybe erratic and sporadic energy into ways to improve your appearance and outlook or looking into uh, it really uh, it could also be also your first impression you might be putting that energy in as well and given we're talking about the Mar Mars and the first house your energy might be more abundant at this time and your vitality might be increased and the libido but it might be somewhat uh, again sporadic and erratic you may be using a lot of this energy toward Aquarius like things such as innovation computers electronics um, it could be aerospace astrology and people can see this uh, might maybe able to see this in a very uh, pro really projected very outwardly so anyway well next thing up is Jupiter will be in Scorpio uh, still it will be a retrograde from the first to like the tenth and the tenth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time for Aquarius this could be about in some cases I mean as I've talked about previously that Jupiter can be very paradoxical it's very strongly benign and benevolent but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand and it could expand very surreptitious nefarious and even manipulative behavior perhaps from the dominant parent which is often the father authority figures perhaps um, people that are simply prominent in your career uh, it could also be about a lot more luck and for some luck and fortune making a transformation of one's career or through some kind of Scorpio career endeavors such as locksmithing um, uh, the supernatural occult astrology magic alchemy investigation some kind of forensics something that could be Scorpio uh, related so and uh, also too it could also be about going beyond uh, the superficial and subterfuge in 10th house matters such as deal with authority figures people prompt in your career the uh, the dominant parent often the father and also given that's going to be retrograde for like about the first third of the month 
This could manifest perhaps in reviewing a profound and deep philosophy connected with your stature in life and success. So anyway, next thing up is Saturn will be in Capricorn, uh, will be uh, retrograde and the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. This could be a very strongly more introverted and introspective period for you. Uh, you could be uh, at this time, given it's going to be retrograde, you could be reviewing more fears and apprehensions connected with the unknown. You may fear the unknown more so than usual at this time. And, so and sorrows may be dealt more in solitude and seclusion. Now, also this can manifest perhaps in discarding what is frivolous. It could be that older people uh, may be you know, hidden adversaries at this time. Uh, it could be Capricorn people, or Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Capricorn, or ones that embody Capricorn-like characteristics. It could also be the way this could uh, work out, too, is that you might be maybe expressing maybe a very despondent, melancholy side in private at this time uh, as well, and maybe even doing laborious work in seclusion. And it could be something connected with politics, business, the government, uh, something government related at this time. And in some cases too, this can manifest perhaps in taking care of a debilitated or sickly aunt or uncle. And it could be uh, something Capricorn related. It could be something connected with the knees, the bones and the joints or the joints, I should say. And it could be, um, causing you to feel somewhat dejected and, and despondent at this time. Anyway, next thing up is Uranus will be in Taurus. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time for Aquarius, this could uh, be about perhaps uh, unusual values in one's uh, family, uh, perhaps at this time also. I uh, could manifest perhaps in the formulation of ingenious and new uh, money-making ideas. Uh, it could be with one close to home. It could be something that you collaborate on uh, with a family member or doing some at-home business. And even, I mean, I'm mean, not saying it would be a new household robot you'll invent, but I mean, it could be something where you might do something innovative out of the home that can generate some good money for you perhaps. Now, at this time as well, your home life might be more sporadic and erratic than usual. And uh, also, too, the way this can manifest is that perhaps Taurus uh, friendships or ones that embody Taurus-like characteristics might factor more into your foundations uh, than usual at this time uh, if you're making new ones. And also, you might see where there's you might be exhibiting more unusual persistence in order uh, getting to your roots and perhaps ancestry at this time. So. Anyway, and it might be where your home life might be a little bit, maybe some instability connected with it. Anyway, next thing up is Neptune will be in Pisces still. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time for Aquarius, you might be more uh, susceptible to deception and duplicity over monetary matters at this time. Uh, you might be more uh, vulnerable to succumbing to some kind of uh, financial deception or fraud uh, at this time as well. So be careful if somebody uh, calls you up uh, late at night or early morning and wakes you up and tries to get some kind of uh, financial information from you. So also too, uh, this could be about maybe uh, the dissipation or dissolving of one's uh, of one's self-esteem and self-worth, unfortunately, and also the dissolving of one's uh, income, sadly, in some cases. Now, also, too, the way this can manifest in some cases, though, is that you may be more inclined to maybe generate income through something Neptune-like, such as something with the metaphysical, which includes astrology, um, chemistry, photography, uh, something um, special effects, uh, perhaps something that could be uh, even uh, something uh, with illusion, uh, something that could be Neptune related in general, maybe poetry. So anyway, and also too, in some cases, sadly, this could be about some dissolving and dissipation of one's possessions and resources, uh, sadly. So anyway, well, the next thing up is Pluto will be in Capricorn. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time for Aquarius. Now, uh, I know a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, when we're talking about, I mean, 
Pluto is the planet of death. In some cases, this could reflect an actual literal death of an aunt or an uncle or somebody that simply was prominent in your private life. Um, it could be that maybe uh, in some cases, uh, this could be an onset of some kind of very powerful mental illness or maybe even the destruction uh, of one. Uh, a lot of it, of course, can depend on the aspects that this makes to points in your natal chart. And also, too, um, it might be about really powerful hidden adversaries and very manipulative ones as well, upheavals in your private life, uh, perhaps, as well. And really about really maybe gaining, uh, maybe you feel gaining some kind of power, maybe helping or having that power to help those that are less fortunate than yourself, such as the impoverished, the homeless, the hungry. Um, so anyway, and, and the oppressed, perhaps. So those are some ways that this could uh, manifest, uh, perhaps, uh, at this time. You might also feel like your uh, private life might be somewhat obliterated, but at the same time, that remember that Pluto is about rebirth and regeneration, and what, what Pluto can tear down, it may often replace at some point in time. So anyway... Well, next thing up is uh, the North Node will be in Leo uh, still. So the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time for Aquarius, I mean, uh, this could be about, I mean, when you're talking about the North Node in transit, this could manifest perhaps in something where you have to address and uh, confront. And it could be confronting perhaps an arrogant, domineering, pretentious, bombastic, overbearing could be significant other it could be an open adversary maybe even a, a legal enemy opponent or maybe even a grandmother in uh, in in some cases now also too um another way this could manifest this could be about being directed toward being maybe being more generous and magnanimous in your relationships in general with others with the grandmother uh perhaps and with the significant uh, other and also being maybe you might be directed toward maybe having to be a little bit more extravagant in terms of legal fees uh, at this time as well if you do have any and you might wind up having to spend a little more than you originally anticipated also collaborating with others with a lot of heart and uh, this really and this could be about maybe maybe a bit a business partnership connection that could be Leo related such as something with the entertainment uh, industry industry something of connected with creativity working with children maybe even cardiology in some isolated uh, cases so anyway well next thing up the black moon Lilith will um, be in Capricorn so the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time for Aquarius in some case I mean when you're talking about the black moon Lilith this could be about um, a rev really about um, maybe a revelation um, or unveiling of a, of, a, of a formidable, in this case, Capricorn adversary. It could be somebody that might have a, may have a Capricorn sun, moon, ascendant, or one that embodies Capricorn characteristics. Uh, somebody that might be very tyrannical, ruthless, undemonstrative, cold, and callous. Uh, it could even be maybe somebody that could be an aunt or an uncle, or even... Um, or, or just somebody in prominent your private life that is revealed, uh, revealing these qualities as well. Um, remember, um, what I want to say is, sorry about, sorry about that, people. But anyway, going back to the Black Moon, Wolf, and Capricorn, and the Twelfth House, another way this could manifest is well. In some cases, well, this could be when you're talking about well, when you're talking about the Black Moon Lilith. It could be about what could put one in a strong state of fear and trepidation. And this could be about maybe losing one's authority, so to speak, over a uh, over their private life and what they're what they're doing in their private settings. And two, um, it's about relinqu about relinquishing authority in a private life, and also. This could be the way this could manifest is, is in, in some cases, given this is the Black Moon Lilith energy, uh, what could happen is, I mean, when you're talking about Black Moon Lilith, it could be about what we are, what we don't want uh, unveiled and revealed, but it, something that we don't want to come out of the bag, so to speak, but it does anyway. It could be about the unveiling or revelation of a dark, depressing uh, mental illness uh, at this time. 
uh, as well in some cases it could be a clandestine affair where you're trying to uh, maybe improve your stature in life and, and reach career attainments in some cases um, also too uh, what, what really could put you in another thing that could that might come out of the bag so to speak but you don't want to could be a very restricting and limiting uh, depressing private life that you don't want people to know about but it does come out of the bag so to speak anyway last but not least Chiron will still be in Aries so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time for Aquarius well in some cases this could be about where maybe uh, you might be dealing with neighbors and siblings that might become a figurative headache so to speak it could be about acrimonious and contentious even combative situations that you're dealing with with siblings cousins and neighbors people that are prominent in your short uh, journeys and, and also another way this can manifest is maybe there could be uh, some lack of due to lack of initiative and enterprise maybe in communications in general whether you needed to be confrontational in speech or speak up be more assertive or maybe it was about getting some kind of writing uh, completed that you might have procrastinated on and you didn't have that enterprise to, to get it done and, and it started and even even started perhaps let alone finish and maybe not capitalizing on certain short journeys when necessary and even in some isolated cases this could uh really I mean this could manifest in, in an accident perhaps while uh, driving uh, perhaps and also maybe facial or head injuries maybe due to some accident in your own uh, neighborhood perhaps or, or maybe involved in a short uh, journey and remember when you're talking about Chiron and Aries this could be about uh, unworthiness feelings of unworthiness and maybe you might feel that maybe you you might feel there might be feelings of unworthiness maybe in your something connected with your communications or perhaps maybe you don't just you feel like you don't deserve to have a sibling uh, connection you don't deserve to have communications in your life I guess I should say and uh, and uh, maybe even connection maybe with your neighbors as well you might feel maybe there's some feelings where you might feel ostracized uh, by them at this time uh, maybe even by siblings and neighbors even at this time but remember that when you're talking about Chiron it is uh, the wounded healer so in areas that you might uh, be struggling and going through some uh, suffering and connection with this you may be able to help others deal with comparable situations and do so with a lot of Aries uh, aggressiveness courage fortitude enterprise and initiative anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Aquarius July 2018 horoscope forecast stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Pisces July 2018 horoscope forecast two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well